Hey friends, hope all of you are keeping safe. In this presentation, I wish to share some exciting facts about bats. Yes, owing to circumstance, bats have been vilified as predators of COVID-19 to humans. There is a lot of misinformation surrounding this recently developed belief and there is a dire need to clear the air. Here are some interesting facts about bats. Bats are not birds, they are flying mammals. So much so that they are the only flying mammals on our planet. Of course, there are some species that can glide, but we would not consider that as flying. We? They are warm-blooded creatures, which means they maintain their body heat internally. Bats on average breed two young ones in a year. It is an incorrect belief that the eyesight of bats is poor. This false belief has developed because they are nocturnal and use sound to find their way around. Bats don't attack humans. However, occasionally they crash into a human. And that is pure accident. It's not an attack. An accidental bite from a bat needs nothing more than a shot of rabies. Just like we would do when a canine attempts to taste us. There are over 1,400 species of bats and about 128 species in India. As a population, they account for nearly 20% of all mammalian population on the earth. Some species are known to binge on mosquitoes too. Ah, God bless them indeed. Fruit-eating bats are the most common ones found in the Indian subcontinent. Bats poop, known as guano, is a very rich fertilizer. There are many people who make a living by collecting and selling them. It's another matter though, that not all can take this job. Guano can carry infections and hence it is important to practice personal safety when dealing with it. Bats carry a large variety of viruses in them and they are largely immune to it. This is because the bat's immune system is highly effective and efficient. It is known to be much superior to that of humans. So much so that there are studies underway to find out how such effective immunity can be introduced into humans. Viruses don't usually jump directly from bats to humans. One of the most common routes for a virus to end up in a human from a bat is through intermediate animals like pigs or pangolins. These intermediaries may come into contact with guano and the virus would then find its way into humans when these intermediaries are consumed. There is no concrete evidence that COVID-19 was got from bats, which was per news items hopped on to the humans through consumption of pangolin meat. Claims by the Chinese media that the virus was spread by a particular species of bats, known as horseshoe bats, has been refuted by experts since these bats are found thousand kilometers south of Wuhan. And then there are other subject matter experts, including a Nobel laureate, who have said that a particular sequence of amino acids found in the SARS-CoV-2 virus is a natural impossibility and hence deemed to be synthesized in a lab. No matter what, 
The quintessential fact is that bats are not to be blamed for COVID-19 and we should stop vilifying them immediately. Rather, we should be thankful to natural evolution for creating this creature that has played a very vital role in balance and control of diseases that could otherwise wipe us selfish humans out from this planet. Hey, why don't you submit a short poem or rhyme on bats in the comment section? Until we meet again, keep safe. It's the only known way yet to deal with SARS-CoV-2.